Space heaters keep you warm on the coldest of days, but portable heaters can pose as a dangerous threat. We're being joined by Tyler Churchma, a fire inspector with Sioux Falls Fire Rescue, and he's here to make sure we're able to avoid a house fire or a serious burn when using the hot stuff to beat the cold. Welcome, Tyler. Thank you so much for coming yeah, in thanks today. Thanks for having me again. I think for a lot of people, when you look at something like that, it's like the size of a little portable fan. Mm -hmm. You probably don't really think of that as something that's going to start a fire or be a dangerous threat. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah, and actually, uh, space heaters are the second leading cause of home fires uh, throughout the United States. Really? And actually, the third leading cause of home fire deaths in the United States. So yes, even though it is small, it still can pose a threat if used improperly. So why is this the so high on the spectrum when it comes to causing deaths? Is it leaving it on at night or what is the biggest mistake people make? Um, a lot of them, it's a, the, a lot of the older heaters didn't have your new protection systems. Like the new ones have like your tip over protection. So if it would tip over, it's gonna shut off. If it gets overheated, it's actually gonna shut off as well. So the older heaters, somebody might have threw a towel on it or a, a coat, it gets hot and could start a fire as well, so. And these different heaters have safety features, and we'll get into that, but first I just want to talk about the different types of heaters in general that there are. Okay, yeah, so we recommend if you're going to use a space heater in your home, it is an electric space heater. If you look at your fuel burning heaters, like your NIPCO heaters, those use a fuel, so that's going to cause carbon monoxide, so you need to make sure that's properly vented. But with your uh, electric one, you don't have to worry about that. Um, there is a few safety features that keep you safe when using this, such as plugging it directly into the outlet, eliminating that electrical cord. These actually do pull a lot of current to use, so your electrical cord, your extension cord could actually get hot, overheat, and that's another fire threat. Is there anywhere, especially for something like this, that you have to set it somewhere? Is there somewhere that you should keep it away from or have it up? Yeah, so what we recommend is you first one put on a flat surface, um, a stable surface, so don't set it on a table like this or on a chair. Make sure it's on the floor flat surface, solid surface, and you want to just look around what kind of combustible materials are around it. Just make sure there's nothing within three feet of the heater um, that could start on fire. And just make sure if you do leave the room, don't leave it unattended. Or another thing is don't go to bed with one running. Always shut it off. Okay. And for the ones that are a lot bigger, you know, the ones that basically stand like a little bit yeah. below hip height and they're a little bit wider. I know we have one downstairs in our executive producer's office. What about those? What do you have to worry about with, with that? With those, you got to look at where you're placing it. Make sure it's not blocking an exit. You never want to put one of those heater by an exit. So if something would happen, malfunction in it, your exit is still open to get out if there is a fire. And just make sure it's a kid-free zone, pet-free zone. They don't come by and knock something larger over like that over. But the newer ones, like I said, do have the tip, tip over protection on them, and you should be all right. And these obviously give off a lot of heat, so they get hot. If you get too close, can you get a burn? I mean, yeah, hopefully you step away before you feel the burn coming, you know, but some of like the radiator um, looking heaters where if you actually touch them, they are really hot. So just make sure, like I said, kid free zone and you should be safe. Now, earlier I mentioned that different space heaters have different safety features. And you mentioned the tip over if you wanted to shut off on its own. If it tips over, that's a great safety yeah. feature. What are some other things that we should look at when buying yep. a space so, heater? Uh, there, there's two safety features on the newer ones. You got your tip over protection. So there's a little... Um, button on the bottom. You can that, show us okay. on that one too. Yeah. So there's a little deal here. When it's sitting on the ground, it's pressed in. The minute you press it out or let it release, it shuts off. Um, another thing is that thermal protection. If the unit gets too hot, it's actually going to shut itself off. So it basically has a thermostat inside Correct. of itself. Yep. Okay. But should you rely on that? Like you if you do go to sleep? Correct. Yeah. You, you don't want to okay. leave it unattended and never go to sleep with one running. So there's the overheat protection, the automatic shut off, and plastic face. When I was doing some research, it said that a plastic face is better too. A plastic face, yeah, so that's gonna, it's not gonna get as hot as like if you had the metal face on the front or the stainless steel one. So yeah, so this one's got the plastic face, so that's not gonna get real hot to the touch, and that's why they recommend that. Now obviously using these ones indoors is a whole different scenario, but is there anything we should know about using ones outside as well? Yeah, so when you're looking at heaters, like some guys like to put a NIPCO heater in the garage, hooks up to a propane tank. You still want to make sure if you are using it in a garage or shed that it is properly ventilated, maybe crack the door open a little bit because that heater is producing that carbon monoxide. And those if you get too close to? Those will burn you, yes. Yep. So they're a whole different 
animal when it comes to outdoor um, heaters. Yeah, I started heaters. my coat on fire yeah, when see? I was tailgating. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, they usually have the flame shooting out yeah. of them. So. No, I didn't actually start on fire. It just like, I looked down and my coat was like yeah. melted. And I, so then I was just like, of course, like, oh, I'm on fire. Yeah, and you but, stopped, dropped, and rolled. Right? Yeah, no. Yeah, so. I should have. I should have. Safety, right? So, in, for your recommendation, because there are so many different ones that have different safety features, I mean, if I am looking at buying one, I do have kids, I do have pets. What exact safety heater? Something like this, something bigger, or can I really do both if I just put it in a safe place? Yeah, you can do both just depending on what size of area, square footage that you want to heat. So just make sure, like I said, it does have that tip um, over safety, thermal safety, and plastic. You know, plastic is better if you have kids running around so that if they do touch it, they won't get burned. And if I do have one that's fairly old, maybe it's been with me since I was a lot younger and yep. I've just been using it. Is there a time when you should update that, even if it's still working? Uh, if it's still working, it's fine. Just make sure you're checking that cord. Make sure there's no frays or bare wire showing. If it, if it is, then maybe it is time to replace it. All right. Lots of great tips. Thank you so much yes, thank for you. giving us some insight. I didn't even know there were so many things to know about know, space right? heaters. But thank you. Thank you.